This morning we are in, I think it's pronounced Waiuru, near National Park, near the snow, you can't see it from here. But anyway, we just at Subway, getting coffee, and yeah, the plan today is to drive about five different tracks around Taupo. So that's, that's the idea. So we, from here to Tekino, to the mountain is only oh, 20 minutes. So we're going to go there and then see what happens. I'm Greg von der Reis. I've been leading expeditions and driving 4x4s in Africa for almost 40 years. Join me as I explore my new home country of New Zealand. This route we're going to do now up to Takino Ski Fields is ideal for somebody's first time off road. It's relatively easy, well, very easy actually. We've done it in uh, Forrester, but uh, today is not the ideal day. It's misty and raining and all those things. So we'll see what it's like, but yeah, we'll drive up and it's not going to be much to see in the in the cloud, but we'll see what it's like. driving off the off the road there's also well, there's a sign that tells you that and also there's a sign saying no drones so I can imagine this I don't see the logic um, I can understand no drones over the military zone but once you're driving on this road there's absolutely nothing sense but uh, the national parks charge you a fee if you want to use the drone so that's probably probably the reason pay us some money and then we'll give you permission but anyway so the first few kilometers is relatively flat and then you start climbing up to the ski fields there is snow on the mountain this morning I don't know how far it comes down but uh, we'll see what the visibility has improved a little bit. The cloud has lifted. We've got uh, probably a kilometer visibility at the moment. So hopefully as we get higher, either we'll go through the cloud or at least we'll be able to see something. There's poles lining the route and that's, that's for when it's snowing. So you can get a reasonable idea where the road is not that close to one another so it would be difficult but at least it gives you an idea. The wind is howling and it's raining. Um, I'll show you what the place looks like.
so the gate was locked which doesn't make any sense they they tell you that you've got to have a suitable vehicle but it's padlocked so it's a bit brainless is about a hundred meters so we are going to there's some tracks that I saw on Google Earth that go off to a stream so we want to see if anything happens and if we 